Online dating is a multi-billion dollar business and it is growing every year. More than 40 million Americans use dating websites or apps in 2020 alone. That's according to the Pew Research Center. Fox News' Alexis Fernandez explains how this technology has changed and how you can use it to be successful with online dating. A lot of people want to know. Yes, and a lot of uh, tips to keep in mind, that's for sure. So dating apps have certainly expanded the pool of people you can meet, but because of all this choice, these platforms can also also be tiring. But there is one app, however, that is trying a different strategy. Online dating has been around for nearly 30 years. Match.com is credited with creating the first online dating website in 1995. There are now countless dating apps. Things have been increasing in terms of numbers of users on dating apps. However, in terms of success, it's questionable. Thanks to Tinder, swiping has become the most common form of matchmaking. Relationship expert and college professor Dr. Tara says the apps are evolving, but some people from Gen Z in their early 20s want something different. A lot of my students in college really preferring like joining groups. Maybe it's based on their hobbies, interest or social change costs that they're interested in. Online dating is still common among younger adults. About half of those under 30 report having ever used a site or dating app. Tinder is also the most widely used according to the Pew Research Center. So what's the future of online dating? Developers are trying to figure out what's next, especially with dating fatigue. It's kind of declining. People's trust in the online world is declining with, you know, just so many catfishes out there, all this technology that people can use to pretend to be somebody else. I think people are losing their trust and their faith in online dating. That's where the Thursday app Best in London comes in. It launched two years ago and says it focuses on getting people to meet in person. We kind of focus on living your life aside from dating, which is why the app only works for one day of the week, which is Thursday. So 24 hours of every week, every Thursday, the app will unlock. You can match with people. You can see other profiles. You can chat with people. And then at midnight after Thursday, everything will lock. So how do you succeed on a dating app? Dr. Tara has an acronym called HACK. Have an honest bio of what you want. Ask it on a video call if you're comfortable to verify the person is real. Have clear and attractive photos of yourself and be kind. If the energy doesn't match, tell the person and wish them the best. And to remember, this is just the first step. Being on an online dating app does not equate to having successful relationships at all. Everything else comes after that online dating moment. And the Thursday app also hosts a lot of in-person events, but right now they're only happening in London and New York City.